Okay, welcome back to Southern Fried TCG. Um, going to be showing my top 32 Gen Con open uh, deck profile today. Um, of course, I'm G, aka most people know me as Chris. Um, but, however, uh, I would like to just show this off. As we can see, OPBL, RC, and Lionizer. Um, I qualified in round, uh, oh, I can't won't call it a round, I would say uh, the Thursday 4 o'clock preliminary, that's when I qualified, I placed 4th with this deck, um, I dropped from the first one uh, after going, my first match running into bugs, I decided to, well, I tried to stay in and then I ended up losing another, I think what, uh, round three or round four and at that point I dropped um, but top seven uh, in the four o'clock the one that I actually placed top four my only loss through that whole day actually came from um, Kevin Allen the uh, Gen Con uh, open winner um, with that four wide cars with or the three three cars in RC but yeah that was absolutely amazing um, so, as you can see, I do have different colored sleeves on these right now. I have been uh, working on some other things. So, some of the cards, I just, instead of switching up sleeves for this video, I just threw them in. Um, sorry about that. Hope you can deal with it. Uh, but, um, without further ado, uh, I, well, actually before, I, I did not sideboard any characters I did sideboard some cards we'll go over that at the end of the very thing and as well as um and when I went into the open I did uh change a few things for my main deck and my sideboard um and we'll go over that again as well uh at the end of the video but for now um let's go ahead and start uh sorry about that they should have been like that from the beginning so because that works better for me based on my visual preference. So, usually during the first time of every battle, I always flip Optimus Prime and swing in with Lionizer. Uh, and then based off of battle flips and everything else, I'll either flip Optimus back or I usually, more often than not, flip RC and my second attack would be with RC, giving that pierce, of course. And then Optimus Prime's ability, everybody knows it. The OPBL just broke in with his uh, um, innate abilities to be able to play the actions off the flips. I wouldn't call it broken, even though I just did. Um, excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, I want to be correct. It is not broken. It is just another card. Uh, it takes skill and accuracy in order to be able to actually play some of these things correctly and knowing when to do certain things and um, a lot of that can be seen in different videos whether it be uh, mine um, S. Dot Akuma's uh, Wrecking Rules, Power by Primus uh, Vector Sigma um, Arbitrary Hero I mean I, the list goes on and on so it's knowing when and where and how to play the thing. Uh, just like everybody's complaining about Cliff Trumper is not broken. But that's for another talk. We will continue on with this. So these are the characters and of course you flip back to get all that. But let's get away from the characters. First up on we have three confidence. Of course, draw two, scrap two, you may play another action. Um, that ability to go through the deck, getting what you need, uh, is absolutely necessary. As you can see, it's an orange pip, which works really well for this high aggro deck. Um, so next, I had, in this uh, version that I uh, actually qualified, uh, I had one copy of Espionage. Nice to be able to get... Um, some of the uh, like security checkpoints out of people's hands in a defensive build or uh, peace through tyrannies and aggro build or anything like that or e even against cars getting those turbo boosters or um, start your engines out of their hand really works well uh, then we have three incoming transmissions it's a great card draw two scrap two 
uh, or then put a card from your hand, draw two, then put a card from your hand on top of your deck. Sorry about that. Um, great card. However, uh, certain things have me rethinking, I think, some stuff, and we'll go over that. And that's basically because Kevin Allen, his ideas and stuff like that, and it's really ingenious. And I know it has a lot of people reach, uh, changing their ideas on their deck formats. Um, so, and it really has me thinking about this because the only reason I really ever had these in the deck was was because of Improvised Shield. Didn't want to get him stuck with the hand. So, um, and he didn't run any Improvised Shields in his build. And it makes a lot of sense because so many times I have a dead card in hand and I added three more cards that I don't really care about that I could use something else, which is decent, but it's not really needed in this deck outside of getting Improvised Shield out of your hand. So at that point, it's really not even like so I added three cards total of six cards that didn't need to be in here so that's a thought for another time though um, shoot me sorry about that <clears throat> next I have two copies of new designs uh, once again um, s is very rare that this card has came in clutch or even helped me at all um, at that point I really thought it could have came out of the main deck, and I believe in my um, main build of, nope, it's still in there in my main build for um, the other, for the open as well, but uh, next, I have three piece through tyranny, great for KOing Lionizer whenever he's high in damage, just take another turn and just swing away, swing away, swing away. It's a great, great card, great combination. Um, pretty much anybody knows that one. Um, next, we have one copy of Press to the Advantage. Now, Press to the Advantage, uh, great card, whether I'm going up against uh, Autobots or Decepticons. Uh, going up against Decepticons is that much greater, but... We all know what that does for the most part. The plus two attack for uh, one of your Autobots and then minus two defense to one of the Decepticons. And it is retrievable with that orange pip. That is absolutely awesome. Next, there's two copies of Quartermaster. Great for bringing um, the RR or RS Firesteel Saber back to one of your characters or in between attacks if you piece through Tyranny, uh, sw switching it from Optimus to RC or from RC to Optimus. A great little combination and I've actually taken out a couple KOs doing it that way. Um, really nice. Next, there's two copies of Ramming Speed. Of course, ramming speeds that upgrade hate, orange pip. Uh, it's in there basically because I know I'm not the only person that was running um, a battle master. So at that point, why not? And then we have, I'm gonna just do it like this. Uh, and then we have three copies of squished him like bugs. Um, great card, um, especially with Optimus Prime because OPBL. Because um, guess what? 13 stars. Um, there's only a couple of characters out there that are either tied or greater than him. So pretty much always going to be proccing squash them like bugs. Uh, even Lionizer can do it. Um, RC has done it a few times also against um, Combiners. So it's actually, uh, well, not so much Combiners. Um, sorry about that. Uh, um, who are the... Uh, Oh man, messing it all up. The uh, Micro Masters. Um, it's only game. I think one game, but it was actually a pretty, pretty cool thing because they were protecting their Micro Masters for the draws and everything like that with a bunch of heroisms and brave. It was actually a pretty unique deck. Um, but so that came in handy on that one. I didn't have to waste attacks going into the smaller guys um next there's three copies of steamroll great card pocket it from hand or use optimus prime's ability whenever you swing in with a heavy lionized uh, rs fire steel saber on lionizer attack you end up flipping one of these and, uh, and then you add the supercharge on top of that so you flip an extra seven battle cards so seven nine you hit a white you hit 11 i mean 
it's absolutely insane. Then you get the steam roll and you're like, okay, so yeah, this guy takes um, 20, 20, um, 20 attack into your character and so it takes five to knock him out, 15 goes over here. It's awesome, it ends up getting a couple uh, two hit KOs. That's why everybody likes Grimlock so much. But Optimus OPVL's ability to activate an action and steamroll. Granted, no pip, all well. Next, three copies of Supercharge. Supercharge gives you that bold three, the orange pip, absolutely insane for any of the characters because uh, Lionizer has the innate uh, bold, bold four and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, him as a weapon gives him or whoever he's has him bold for uh or even just rc by herself or line or optimus prime by itself any of them that extra bold three really helps rc for the pierce optimus opbl of course for um other options for his action ability or for extra damage any of which sense it's absolutely amazing next we have two copies of treasure hunt Treasure Hunt is helping you get through that deck and get out some of those uh, actions that are later on in the deck, um, actually, which we are just now about to get to. Um, so taking out those is really, really helpful in getting you them in your hand for boosting up the characters for heavy hits. I mean, they're already hitting strong, but even stronger, especially whenever you think of things like the erratic energy grenade, because there are three of those. It drops the defense, but who cares? You drop it on uh, Lionizer, so what? KO him, who cares? Guess what? It's a fully defensive build, any or aggro build anyways. So you do what you got to do. Next, there are three copies of Grenade Launcher. Of course, it's an aggro build. Orange Pit plus four. Scrap the card after attack. Who cares? You are swinging for amazing numbers at that point. <clears throat> Pretty self-explanatory. Next is the copy of the card that I said I honestly in question after this uh, round of tournaments. Um, whether it should even be... In, it should be, I think, in some, but for the most part, no. It, it doesn't have any purpose in any kind of aggro builds for the most part. Very few decks actually need this, but I did have it in there, and now, after everything, it's being second thought of. <clears throat> Next, there are three copies of Power Punch. Of course, Power Punch is a great card. You do have to scrap it at the end turn, but that bold three with the orange pip makes it, in my opinion, a better card over even because even with um oh what was it uh what was it power sword where you get the it's blue but blue pip but you get the bold three you put on melee characters and it has to stay there great uh lion archer's melee opbl and his alt mode is melee so yeah it works but at the same time i don't care i need to be able to just throw it on there and i want that orange so it's a great option um, next, we get down into the sideboard. Um, I In the sideboard, I don't have all of the cards out with me right now, but I did run one copy of Cornered, of course, facing off against Bugs, flipping Scrapnel back to his uh, alt mode is absolutely um, amazing, great. I really hate the orange or the green pit part. Um, next, uh, there was one copy of Espionage in the sideboard. Sorry, it's not here. Then there were three copies of Heat of Battle in my sideboard, um, as well as one copy of Ready for Action, um, two Erratic Energy Grenades, which are great for slapping on Lionizer late game or right before you piece through Tyrannium and then freaking sending two damage to everybody, just a little fun trick, and two Mining Picks because I really couldn't figure out what else to put in there. I mean, it does work, but not so well. And then um, in the open itself, the only thing that really changed is I ran in main board one copy of one shall stand, one shall fall, and I main boarded three heat of battle. Um, and what came out was one quartermaster, um, one espionage. Um, and then one espionage stayed in the side deck, but no main board. Um, uh, what was it else? Oh yeah, one copy of Erratic Lightning. Um, and oh, what was the other one? Um, oh, I can't. 
can't remember for the life of me right now. Um, oh yeah, I went down to two incoming transmission. Like I said, it's pretty much not even needed in this, but that was all I did. That was really the only things that I changed going into the um, open itself. But that is was um, my top 32 build. Uh, be happy to know what y'all think uh any ideas or anything like that trust me it's not done being worked on do i think it can compete with that crazy idea kevin allen came up with probably not he actually crushed me um in our face off on uh um the four o'clock on thursday that i uh queued on um he's absolutely a cool guy Re really laid back for the most part um just uh and what he brought to the game was an amazing amazing thing so um don't forget guys uh hit that like button hit that subscribe button um it's one of the things that helps us keep going as content providers just don't forget that uh beyond that um i will speak to y'all next time thank y'all